It's always great when I get to brag on any of the 250 uh, employees we have here at the police department because they're a great team and, and do a great job and I'm so proud of them. But today we're here to talk about the people uh, that have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 years of service and uh, so I wanted to especially recognize them. Uh, I'm going to start with the people that have five years of service. Uh, Officer Philip Brown. Uh, Officer Brown has been with us uh, since June of 2015. Uh, in just that short time, that five years, he's received several awards for his work. Uh, he was Recruit Officer of the Year in 2016. He was an Employee of the Month in both 2016 and 2018. And uh, he is now currently working in our traffic division since 2019. Detective Julian Conrad. Uh, Detective Conrad started with us in February of 2015. Uh, he was the Recruit Officer of the Year in 2015. He recently transferred to the Investigations Division in 2019 and serves as a detective there. Officer Daniel DeVore. Uh, Officer DeVore has been with us since June of 2015. Uh, she does a great job on patrol. One of her main interests is DUIs, and she does a lot of DUI enforcement. In fact, she has been uh, recognized the last four years by the state for her DUI enforcement efforts, and she has uh, made over 60 arrests during that, those last four years. So very proud of her work and keeping our, our streets of Greenville safe. Officer Ashley Munoz started with us in June of 2015. Um, she does a lot of work with kids and the great summer camp and uh, she's also a drug recognition expert. We have a few of those here in the department and she is also a crisis negotiation team member. Officer Chris Pustizi has been with us since June of 2015. Uh, he is an excellent police training officer, PTO. Those are the officers that train our new officers, our new recruits when they come, come on board. Um, he patrols Zone 1 and uh, makes a lot of arrests uh, in drug cases and, and, and illegal firearms. Something special about him is he's expecting uh, twins coming up soon. Officer Candace Reyes, uh, she's been with us also since June of 2015. Um, she is a dedicated and, and hard worker. Um, she has um, overcome a lot and I, I'm just proud of her. I'm, I'm, I'm glad uh, she, is, she is still with us and, and doing great and really appreciate her efforts in our CBD effort she, uh, area. She works downtown in the Central Business District and does a great job. Moving to our 10 years of service. Uh, we'll start with Detective Andrew Smith. He has been with us um, since August of 2009. Uh, he has been a uh, CRT, Crime Reduction Team member. Uh, he became that in 2014. And then he moved to Property Crimes and Investigations in 2015 and uh, is now serving in violent crimes in 2016. He has also done a lot of work with our cold case unit and uh, they have solved a lot of our, our cold cases and he does great work with that. Uh, moving to 15 years of service, uh, Tiffany Burton. Uh, Tiffany Burton works in our strategic planning and analysis unit. Um, she is just a great person. She is very quiet but gets a lot of work done and she's always there when you need her. Um, She's just so uh, effective and, and efficient. Um, and she also coordinates our internship program here within the police department. Officer Brandon Newman, um, he is currently serving as a K-9 officer since 2017. He started with us in July of 2010. He has logged uh, over 200 hours in training this year alone uh, with 19 drug-related arrests. So he's very, very busy and the K-9 unit does a great job. Lieutenant Alia Paramore has been with us since March of 2005. Uh, she is currently serving as a lieutenant in our public engagement. Uh, she works here, uh, you know, coordinating all community events and uh, our public relations and just does a great job. She was uh, initially a PIO back in 2011 and then was promoted to a sergeant in 2014 uh, and uh, recently promoted to lieutenant and just does a great job. 
Sergeant Chris Powell. Uh, Sergeant Chris Powell started with us in August of 2004. Uh, he served in property crimes as a detective for several years and then was promoted to uh, a sergeant in 2015 and moved over to the Vice and Narcotics Unit in 2018 as a sergeant. He's currently serving on our Drug Enforcement Unit Task Force uh, that we collaborate with all agencies in Greenville County uh, and uh, is doing a great job there. Brandy Rector. Uh, Brandy works in our administration division, uh, specifically uh, with training. Uh, she has had, she's had several big important jobs here in the department. She's worked in internal affairs. She has worked in the chief's office as the administrative assistant. Uh, but she is in training now. She's very organized and thorough, does a great job. Cannot say enough good things about the work she does. Uh, she also helps with the recruits and their scheduling and as a, a liaison with the South Carolina Criminal, Criminal Justice Academy. Appreciate all her, her hard work. Lieutenant Mike Alston uh, started with us in March of 2000 um, as, an, as a young officer. He became, when we started the K-9 program back, he became our first K-9 handler and he had K-9 Fox. They did really well and sort of set the standard for our K-9 unit and, and that's how we've been able to expand our K-9 unit now is, is really because of Mike Alston and, and Fox. Um, he started moving through the ranks. Uh, 2013 he was promoted to sergeant. And then in 2016, he was promoted to lieutenant. He currently serves in our special services division uh, as, a, as a lieutenant. Does a great job. Corporal John Blassengame uh, started with us in February of 2000. Uh, he has served on SWAT for 14 years. Um, he served as one of our first SROs uh, back in 2012 and currently works in the warrant unit and has been in the warrant on the warrant team for about eight years. Sergeant Kevin Cox uh, started with us August of 2000. He has served on our SWAT team for uh, 15 years. Uh, he worked in the Vice and Narcotics Unit for five years as a detective and the past three years he has served as a sergeant over our uh, SROs, our school resource officers, and does a great job coordinating the school security. Corporal Brad Lusk uh, started here in March of 2000. He has served as a violent crime detective uh, for 13 years uh, and he's received award, special awards for his dedication and hard work in the detective division uh, in 2012 and 2017. He currently serves uh, as a special event coordinator in our administration division helping schedule officers for all the special events that we cover. Moving to the 25 years of service. Sergeant Donnie Ning uh, started in the Greenville Police Department in February of 1995. He, has ser he served on SWAT for nine years. Uh, he served as a sergeant for 13 years. He's our longest serving sergeant here in the police department. Uh, he was a sergeant for investigations for three years and uh, he has been in recruiting and hiring um, in the professional standards division for the last five years. Uh, does a great job, a lot of experience, been worked all throughout the department and we sure do appreciate uh, Sergeant Ning. Sergeant Larry Moody uh, started in February of 2000. Um, he has served as a sergeant since 2008 and uh, is now serving as a sergeant in investigations. He's been there since 2013. Uh, sergeant Moody started in the fire department he realized the error of his ways and came over to the, the right team to the police department. We are certainly glad to have him. I uh, want to congratulate all of these people for their uh, dedication and service to the police department and to the city, uh, to the citizens and the communities we serve. Uh, your, your service and dedication does not go unnoticed and we really appreciate you. I am super excited to be able to share with you some of our employees that are meeting milestones in their career with the city of Greenville. Uh, one of my first ones is Arlene Bruno. She's been with us a long time. She's celebrating her 25 years with the city and she started in communications and went to operations as a patrol officer for a while and then made the choice to come back into communications. But love Arlene a lot. She is a dedicated employee. She does a tremendous amount of work with our computer-aided dispatch system, making sure that information, location cautions, and various points of contact are in there for our responders. 
to help them do their job and also help us interact more effectively with our citizens. Uh, she is the proud mom to two wonderful cats and she'll tell you they're the best in the world. Um, but she is a super employee, super excited that she's met her 25 years and I'm happy to celebrate that with her. Our next employee is Valia Warren. She is celebrating her five-year anniversary with us and Valia is my adventurer. She is a very good telecommunicator. She does fantastic at her job. She seeks additional duties and helps out with our FBI, NCIC protocols and, and recertifications. But she's our adventurer. She, she's got a camper that her and her husband built. She likes to hike. She's the proud mom to Tink, which is her bulldog who is just has, is just a wonderful animal but she's our adventurer she's out there she's engaged and she's just a wonderful person to work with so happy to celebrate her five years and hope to keep her for another 25 more and our third employee that's celebrating an anniversary this year is Sharita Carroll down in communications we like to call her Mama Rita because in the middle of chaos she is very calm she's that soothing voice she gets business done she can be firm when she needs to be, but she is super calm in the middle of chaos. She's the proud mom to Samaya and Autumn, both very beautiful daughters and very special. And Sharita's our, our family mom. We call her Mama Rita for a reason because she just brings that family with her, that, that warmth and, and everything like that to the work environment and takes care of those around her. And she is a vital part of our communications function. She's an excellent trainer. Patience is Sharita's middle name. Uh, she takes a tremendous amount of time to make sure that employees understand the work tasks that are assigned to them and she is just a vibrant and vital part of us and also with her I want to keep her for another 25 years as well. So happy to celebrate all three of our employees with service awards this year and thank you all so much for your service and what you do provide for the city of Greenville and our community every day. My name's Matt Hawley and I'm the municipal judge for the city. Uh, it's my pleasure to be with you this morning to recognize four employees who are getting longevity awards uh, this year. Uh, unfortunately, not at a breakfast or luncheon, but uh, virtually as we join you today. Uh, our first uh, employee that's receiving an award is a five-year award for Christy Carson, who has been here working in the uh, support associate side uh, of our court for about 18 months now. Uh, she came to us from the parking division. She's been a county and city employee for many years. She worked in parking a number of years ago when it was still associated with the police. Uh, got into uh, clerical work with records at the county and uh, after she went back to the city parking division again found out that uh, the clerical stuff was really uh, what she wanted to do. She's uh, moving about doing cross training here and we really appreciate all the work she puts out uh, here for the city and what she did previously with uh, parking that adds to her uh, years with the city here. Uh, our next award for uh, one of the ladies here at court is uh, Melinda Waters. Melinda retired uh, from the family court up at the county courthouse or out, out at County Square actually and um, she brought all of her knowledge of clerical work to us. It's been with us 10 years. She has done all the cross training that we do with all of our staff on the administrative side now and has settled in as a wonderful asset in our records management. She does all of our scanning. Uh, she breaks down files and uh, then everything uh, that's scanned in is destroyed. So we have uh, close to a paperless system now uh, that's all part of Melinda's uh, doing here at the city and we really appreciate her work here. Then we have two employees who work in our uh, detention center office. The first, Kathy Hiles, who's receiving a five-year award. Uh, she came to us from a part-time 
ministerial quarter job over in Greer. She's a former highway patrol trooper and has real good knowledge and instincts working with law enforcement and has done a very, very good job for us and we're glad to have her. She's been with us now five years. Lastly uh, is another ministerial recorder. He's our senior member down there, Mark Hartle. Uh, he's been with us 20 years and uh, he does great work. He came to us from the private sector many, many years ago, but he's worked his way up into the most senior position uh, uh, of longevity with uh, the ministerial recorders down there. And uh, their work is very important. They do warrants, uh, arrest warrants and search warrants for the city police. They also book people into detention and out of detention uh, when they're released on bond. So they help control those persons who are charged and arrested in the city at a critical point uh, in our processing here. Those are our staff that are being recognized and we appreciate the opportunity of being able to call attention to them and we thank the Human Resources Department for letting us do that.